Hey guys, Tom here. So I'm doing another vlog. Uh, today's topic is going to be Ruby. Now, mo I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard me talk about Ruby on different um, Let's Plays and whatnot. Or you've seen Ruby, so you know what it is. If you don't know what Ruby is, Ruby is a web animated series by Rooster Teeth. The guys that did Red vs. Blue. Uh, that's what they're mainly known for. They have Achievement Hunter. They do Let's Plays. They actually have been really recognized by uh mojang or uh, four studios mojang whatnot they've actually had some things thrown in i think they even had their own ach i don't know was that an achievement tower of pimps no that was an easter egg that kept getting thrown in with all the title updates to find that which is really cool so guys ruby I originally had seen the pro, uh, preview for Ruby back when it first came out because I still I was subscribed to Rooster Teeth at the time. I still am now. I gotta say, I, say I was I was interested, but honestly, I just kind of forgot about it because, you know, it just kind of happened where it's like, okay, this looks cool and all that, but, you know, what the hell is it? Um, but yeah, from there. They end up releasing uh, Ruby's trailer, not the Ruby show, but Ruby the girl from the show's trailer, which was, it was good. <laughs> then they released Weiss's trailer, I'm like, hello, how the hell did I forget about this? Um, then they, I think it wasn't till, uh, damn it, what the hell's her name now? I can't remember. Blake? No, it's not Blake. Um, I hate that. I have okay. I haven't watched Ruby in a little bit, but I have the Blu-ray right here, so I'll take a look. Damn it, Houston. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it is Blake. So, uh, they released her trailer. Then I believe that was when they announced that they were gonna premiere season one. Uh, episode 1 of Ruby at RTX 2013. So, or was it? Yeah, no, it was 2013. So, 2013 rolls around RTX. I'm like, okay, I'm going for this. So, I end up going to RTX. Um, flight wasn't that expensive. I stayed at a hostel that time. Which, guys, if you're traveling uh, to a gaming convention or whatnot, and you don't have a place to stay, if there's a hostel nearby, stay there. Because you're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to meet a lot of good people. Um, yeah. So. Day uh, day one comes up. I'm waiting. I'm trying to find out where. Uh, I know that the panel is happening. You know. It's a big panel and whatnot. So I find out I went to the wrong place to go to the panel. I'm like oh shit. Because uh, it's. When I read the thing. It said it was on one location. But then they changed it. They didn't. Uh, it didn't get updated so till afterwards, and I didn't hear that it had been updated. So I'm like, shit. So I missed the original premiere, which would have been really nice. But unfortunately, guys, it does happen. I could hear it in the background. Um, it's okay. This it was like a month early premiere too, which is really cool. Then from there, I ended up. Going through the rest of the day, I met quite a few guys. I had a lot of fun. I bought some anime stuff. Um, went out, went to a few different bars and whatnot. Didn't drink, but I had a few different, you know, I had some fun. Then that the next day, Mont, they're doing another. They all three days that RTX was going, they had three different panels. They had the main panel kind of show with the cast and everything. They had the art panel. Then I don't remember what the last panel was. Um, I think it might have just been more like a question of an answer kind of panel of Ruby. That ended up just being uh, them showing off some stuff. Showing off different techniques. Like how they did some of the video editing and whatnot. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, no. So they end up showing Ruby again. And... They did show something that they never, they, as far as I know, unless you saw it there, that they never actually posted online or whatnot. 
Well, actually, no, that's not true. I because I think they were live they were live streaming this too, so you could see it on the live stream, which was cool. Uh, what they did was episode one was completely finished. Episode two, uh, the part where Ruby sneezes on Weiss. Oh yeah, the last girl is named Yang. If anyone was wondering, um, that animation it just said like an ex- it just had the word explosion. Like it hadn't been animated in yet. <laughs> So that was still going on, which was really funny. Um, during the days I was there, I went through and bought all the merchandise I could of Ruby. That was out. I believe I actually got everything beforehand, which was really nice. The only thing I could not get, obviously, there's been shirts and then, of course, the Blu-ray slash DVD uh, cause obviously that's not out, but yeah. So I ended up meeting Monty Own. I met Shane. I met most of the cast there, or the crew that worked on Ruby before, uh, during the second day. It's funny, uh, me and Shane, we were joking around a bit. We had a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> I still have the hoodie. It's still signed. It's really faded. I, actually, I just wear it now because, unfortunately... I couldn't get everyone's signature, so I want to kind of, next time I'm there, I kind of want to get another Ruby hoodie or something, get them all to sign it if I can, but yeah, and then kind of frame it up, it was kind of cool, uh, but yeah, no, so that was kind of my experience with Ruby, I ended up going, at least my initial, seeing it live, meeting the crew, met Monty Ohm, he was an okay guy, uh, I I met him for like a minute, so it's like you really can't get, you know, like you say hi, you you might be able to t- say a couple words, it's like, dude, thank you for this and whatnot, uh, I got a quick signature, but besides that, nothing really happened, uh, you know, I couldn't really talk, I actually talked with more Shane, who, really nice guy, like, I would sit down, like, I could sit down at a bar with him or something, uh, you know, we could talk and just have fun, um, I don't think we would do that person, honestly. I mean, it's like, I met the guy, yeah, he's a nice guy. Like, I could see, you know, but I'm not saying, like, friend-wise, like, not saying I wouldn't be a friend with him, but realistically speaking, you know, it's like you meet a couple guys at convention. It's like, yeah, I would, tell, yeah, I would hang out with him, but it's whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, I've got, God, I don't know where the pictures went. But I had pictures with, like, everybody beforehand. I even got one of the girl. Uh, I don't remember who. I got one of the girls that wasn't supposed to be on a panel at all. Like, she, uh, she was, I think, Blake. Uh, Blake's voice actor, which I'm blanking on now. I ended up getting her to sign a shirt, which was really cool. Considering uh, she wasn't even supposed to sign any of the merch. Well... There was, like, one panel she was supposed to be at, which, unfortunately, I wasn't... I went through... I thought I could get back into the line, because I met... Uh, I was going for the Walker Mortar. I ended up getting a picture with that, which was really cool. And, yeah. No, so... RTX, I didn't have any video... I had my phone camera, but my phone camera sucks. Or, I still have that camera phone, actually. It sucks, so I didn't bother recording or anything. I have a couple pictures... But besides that, I wonder if they're still on the camera, or actually on the phone, because there is an internal storage, and that might be where they're at. I might have to charge that and find out. I haven't charged it in like a year or so, since I haven't charged it since I got my new phone. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Ended up going through and yeah, just meeting quite a few of the guys. Uh, I met, I ran into the creatures again. I met them. Uh, the year beforehand at PAX Prime. If you watch uh, Sly Fox Hound's videos from like two years ago uh, when he does when it's like homie dance and whatnot, I'm in the video. I'm the. It's like you can see part of my stomach shows up. It's like, which is like, yeah, I'm a big guy. It happens. Uh, I had some fun with them. Uh, actually, I really didn't have fun with them this year, that year, because. What ended up happening was like, okay, hi, they don't remember me, so it's like, okay. You know, like, I'm not going to bug the hell out of them. 
we did kind of run into it's like hey guys uh the previous year we actually had we it actually got really funny because i had run, ran into them at pax prime like i don't know me and kutra we me and kutra and seamus like right, kept running into each other well kutra and seamus were pr- pretty much all together the rest of the guys were kind of like whatever uh we ran into each other like 50 60 times in that uh time period uh you know in like the three-day time period but yeah no i had a lot of fun there hmm. you know what i'm saying this now because i don't really care i'm actually kind of like vlogging um i'll have to do kind of a i'll have to make up something for the images in the background but yeah so to get back on with what ruby uh i've basically since season one ended it's like i couldn't wait for season two uh, my sister ended up buying me season one on Blu-ray, which I almost went through and bought, I don't know how many times at Walmart because yes, I support Rooster Teeth, you know, I got to buy it from their store, but it's $10 cheaper on Blu-ray. So yeah, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Um, from there, yeah, no, so I got that for Christmas present, present, which was kind of funny because my mom's like, you don't know how many times I've all, I've almost been willing to tell you. It's like, don't buy it. Katie's already got that. Katie's my sister, so she already bought that for you for Christmas. It's like, oh, really? Yeah. So there's that. I thought that was kind of funny, and you know, it happens, <laughs> which I think was I think that was kind of funny. So season two's been premiering. In, they're on episode 10, I believe, now. Um, I basically have not missed an episode. I don't even think it's got, like a day's fully gone by that I have not like watched it, but fully gone by when it, they get released that I just haven't popped it on. I haven't turned it on. Because there's some days that they'll be premiering while I'm at work, so I can't watch it until after I get off work, and that might be the next day, but still within 24 hours of it being released, I usually watch it. Um, I'm loving with the direction it's going right now. Honestly, if they had, to, if they would have had to do like a financial campaign campaign to do another season, like how Tome had to do, and I had the extra cash, I would have chipped in for sure. Um, they're working on a Ruby video game right now, which I'm really looking forward to picking up. I hope to God they do a physical release. I really do. Uh, after RTX 2013, I really haven't been buying the Ruby merchandise just because I haven't had exactly had the money. And I would love to go through and pick it up. Uh, I want to go through pick up the plushies that recently got announced, which, oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> uh, pick up the action figures, which look freaking sick, which I've been wanting to pick up, but... That's $125 to get all four of them. Which is an okay deal, but it's still a lot of cash. But yeah, no. Uh, so my experience has been really good with Ruby. I don't think there's really anything that I can complain. I mean, okay. I've had people find faults in the show. It's like, so what? You know, nothing's perfect. Um, but yeah, no. I love the show. I've sat through, probably watched season one, I want to say like 10 or 15 times already. I I watch it enough that it's like, okay, cool. But, you know, it's like, I can sit down and watch the whole season two hours. It's worth it. But yeah, no, so, if you're looking for a good web series to get into, guys, get into Ruby. That's my recommendation for one rep web series to get into. Another is Tome. And thank you again, Chris. You're the one who got me to try vlogging. Just because that's how you were doing it. I've been, I've been gaming to them. Uh, uh, well, I've been gaming while listening to his vlogs. I'm like, this actually seems like it might be worthwhile. I'll give it a shot. Holy shit. <laughs> I got the PS2 released. Uh, PS2 pulled up on Wiki. Almost 4,000 games were released for the system. Uh, just fun fact. That was one of my previous vlogs that I just did. I'm 
did like three in a row just because I think I'm going to try this maybe release some like twice a week maybe three times a week I don't know what I'm doing with it yet but yeah okay so guys if you love Ruby uh, definitely check uh, if you haven't heard of Ruby check definitely check it out if you love Ruby you know comment down below what do you like about it I think it's just an amazing show and I really can't wait for that season. I can't wait for like season 10 to pop up. Okay, I don't know if there is going to be 10 full seasons. No one knows except for Monty Oman, uh, Miles, and I am blinking on the last guy's name. Uh, but they, they studio-wise, they know what they're doing. But yeah, so uh, definitely check that out. Red vs. Blue is really cool to get into also. I haven't been in Red vs. Blue in a while just because I'm trying to pick them up on DVD and just kind of watch it all at once to get kind of caught up, but I don't want to spend the money on the complete collect or the 10 season anniversary collection. Uh, but yeah, no, so I'm happy with Ruby. I would love to get a signed copy of the Blu ray uh, season one and two completely signed by the cast. That'd be cool. But yeah, no. Uh, there, I've seen, there's Minecraft mods of it, and it's just some, a really good show to get into if you want to get into something. Okay, guys. Peace.